The Marvel Cinematic Universe has produced so many fantastic moments through its 23 films. From Cap lifting Mjolnir, to the Ancient One's death, to the Avengers first assembling, the MCU is filled with exciting and chilling moments that audiences remember for years. WandaVision releases in just a couple weeks and it marks the official start of Phase 4 of the MCU. With the next chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe right around the corner, it would be a great time to look back through the Infinity Saga and remember some of the MCU's best moments. But the franchise has too many films with too many great moments to bundle them all into one video. That would be way too painful to narrow down. So instead, let's go through the franchise in release order, giving the top 5 moments of each MCU film, starting with Iron Man. The first film in the MCU is packed full of fantastic moments. Sadly, most of them are forgotten due to the fact that 12 years and 22 movies later, there are so many epic and exciting moments that it becomes easy to forget the small yet powerful ones. These are the type of moments and scenes the first films, especially movies like Iron Man, are filled with. So, without further ado, let's talk about the 5 best moments from Iron Man. Number 5. Tony and Christine Everhart at the Stark Foundation event While the Mark III armor is constructed, Tony goes to a Stark Foundation event where he runs into several familiar people, one of which is Christine Everhart, the journalist from the beginning of the film. The two of them have a conversation that is simply suspenseful. Tony Stark's past comes back to haunt him in this scene as Christine Everhart shows him photos of the Ten Rings attacking Glamira with Stark's weaponry. The people attacking Glamira are the same ones that held Tony captive, and the place they are terrorizing is Glamira, the place Yensen is from, giving Tony a deep emotional connection to the events. As the conversation goes on and on, Tony Stark gets more and more frustrated as he sees more pictures of innocent people being terrorized by the very weapons I created to defend them and protect them. Tony's disassociation with his company, more specifically the weapons division of Stark Industries, grows even larger than before. Tony says, I'm not my company. And that leads to the next scene where he gets frustrated with Obadiah Stane because the weapons division of Stark Industry is clearly not shut down. This is a moment that is overlooked. When people talk about the greatest MCO moments or the greatest Tony Stark moments, this scene is quite possibly one of the most important scenes of the entire MCU. When Tony goes to the fundraiser event, he's still a billionaire playboy without a care in the world. But at the end of this scene, he is Iron Man. The moment Tony Stark becomes Iron Man is not when he puts on the Mach 3. It's not when he breaks out of the cave and it's not when he announces it at the end of the film. Tony Stark becomes Iron Man after he sees images of a town being terrorized with weapons his company created. Number 4. I Am Iron Man You may be surprised to see this at number 4, and not at the very top of the list. While this moment definitely has an effect on Tony Stark, this moment had more an effect on the larger MCU. While the top 3 entries on this list are important to Tony Stark, and more important to the story overall, this moment is nothing short of iconic. It is still crazy to think that Robert Downey Jr. improvised the line, especially since it changed the norm from superhero films. It made secret identities less important than they are in the source material. Spider-Man couldn't even keep his identity a secret for more than two movies. Overall, this is a fantastic and iconic moment, but it does not deserve number one, as it does not do much for the overall story or the overall character of Tony Stark in this movie. The consequences of Tony revealing he's Iron Man are explored a lot later in films, but this video is about the first Iron Man, not the entire MCU. And for that reason, it has to be lower on the list. But it is not at the very bottom because it does serve as a nice conclusion to the film and the journey that Tony Stark went on throughout it. Number 3. Tony's Sacrifice to Defeat Obadiah Stane People remember when Tony Stark carried a nuke through a wormhole, but they seem to always forget about Tony Stark's first sacrifice in the MCU, his defeat of his old friend and mentor, Obadiah Stane. Throughout the entirety of Iron Man, Tony Stark seems to be someone who is always looking out for himself and keeps other people below him, even the people he cares about. At the end of the film, Obadiah Stane constructs his own Iron Man armor, and if he beats Tony in the fight, Stark Industries will continue selling weapons and the world will not get any better. Tony Stark does not win the fight. His suit is broken and out of power, and he's literally hanging on for dear life as Obadiah keeps firing at him. Pepper is inside the building, ready to overload the reactor and take out Obadiah, but the plan goes wrong, and Tony finds himself hanging over the arc reactor. If Pepper overloads it, it will kill Obadiah, but there will be no guarantee of Stark's survival but Tony Stark tells Pepper to push the button and overload it. Tony was 100% sure he was going to die, but he accepted that so innocent people would be safer. He ended up surviving, and it became the first of many sacrifices for the character. The moment is the culmination of all the growth and development the character went through throughout the film. It is the moment where the audience can look at him and say, that is Iron Man. Number 2. Jensen's Final Words to Tony Jensen's final moments are one of the most important but forgotten moments in the MCU. 
What he said to Tony right before dying was one of the most important moments for Tony's character. It is the basis for Tony's entire story. This scene is easily the best moment of dialogue throughout the entire movie. The movie takes a quick break from the action and the intensity of Stark's escape to have a nice moment between two people who became friends. Jensen tells Tony he never planned on making it out alive because the Ten Rings killed his family and now he can see them again. He then says his final words. Don't waste it. Don't waste your life. Tony really listened to those words, and it leads into one of the most satisfying moments in the entire film, when Tony walks out of the cave, activates his flamethrowers, and kills everyone out of pure rage. But that is a completely separate moment, and not part of the final moments with Jensen. By the end of the film, Tony has become a superhero as the result of what Jensen said to him. Number 1. The Wrath of Iron Man. Gomeria Fight Scene. It doesn't get much better than this. The word wrath is necessary because revenge would be putting the scene lightly. The Wrath of Iron Man is a scene where Tony first used the Mark III and he goes to defeat the Ten Rings in Glamira. It starts when Tony first does the superhero landing. Then he proceeds to kill every terrorist there, blows up a tank without even looking at the explosion. Then he destroys the Jericho missiles that Stark Industries sold to them. The best part is that Tony left the leader of the attack for the citizens of Glamira to deal with. The man who routinely beat Tony Stark and terrorized a large number of innocent civilians got it the worst. It is easily the most satisfying scene of the film. Tony does right by the people of Gamera, does right by Jensen, and most importantly, he does right by himself. Tony Stark's first mission as Iron Man is one of his best. It is when he becomes a superhero and begins to fully rectify mistakes he made throughout his life. And for that reason, it is number one. Those are the top five moments from Iron Man. What are your top five moments from the first film of the MCU? If they're different from ours, leave us in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to click that subscribe button and leave us a like.